Hello, my name is Nancy Urbanic, and today I will be stepping you through how to make your own pumpkin puree by baking fresh pumpkin in your oven. First, choose pumpkins that are free of blemishes and heavy for their size. Also, smaller, sweeter pumpkin varieties are more tender and succulent than the varieties that will be used for carving. Once a pumpkin is cut into a jack-o'-lantern and set out, it is not safe to use the flesh for baking. Five to six pounds of fresh pumpkin will yield approximately four cups of pureed pumpkin. My pumpkin for demonstration today was 3.8 pounds and it yielded approximately three cups of pumpkin puree. First, you want to make sure you wash the outside of your pumpkin under cool, running water. Then, cut your pumpkin in half, being careful as the rind will be very hard. The best way to cut the pumpkin is with a sharp knife, a steady hand, and patience. Scrape out the stringy pulp and seeds to set aside for later. Place your cut pumpkin in a pan. I have placed mine rind sides down. You may also place it cut sides down. It doesn't really matter as long as you have them in the pan. Then you need to add a quarter of an inch of water to the pan. This will steam the pumpkin when in the oven. Cover your pan and pumpkin tightly with aluminum foil. Now you want to bake at 325 degrees until very soft or approximately one hour. Check for tenderness by using a fork or a spoon. When done, the pulp will scrape freely away from the rind. Mash the pulp with a fork or process in a blender or a food processor to make a smooth puree. Now you want to store your pumpkin puree in covered containers in the refrigerator for up to one week or freeze for up to six months. Or use your puree in your favorite canned pumpkin recipes. Thank you for joining me today to learn how easy it is to make your own pumpkin puree.